What is up you guys and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Last episode we found out some stuff about Astarian and his connection with Casador. We read some some notes in the in the Shar library that I think had to do with Shadowheart. I think she is this chosen warrior. I mean, it's probably obvious, but this is my first time playing, so she's this chosen warrior and she's obviously going to have to kill one of Shara's whoever want I don't know. Let me shut up. Last step. I need to pray. Only by Lady Shah's grace did we even make it this far. Who? I mean, I helped too. I helped too. Uh, do I really want to butt into this? Mm. Like, I, I do kind of want to see where her head is at, but I also want to respect her, 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 her space. This is, this is her holy mission. You Don't feel mind your me. your mind slip into shadow hearts, but you are not the only one present. There is another, ancient, commanding, rendered from purest darkness. Shah. Take my spear, step forward, and strike down the Salunite. As you command, Nightsinger. Oh, girl. Now go. Warm my blade with moon-crazed blood. And be wary of your companion. No! He pries in your thoughts. No, I don't. No, I wasn't. Look, look away. Look away. That wasn't for you to hear. No, I was just. I was looking at the. I was looking at the pillar over there. You know, I deserve to know what I'm getting myself into. It's simple. My lady Shah demands a sacrifice. One life. Not that it matters, but her reward aligns with your own interests. Wasn't it like last episode you were like, oh, it probably won't be an innocent or or a or a or a person. It'll probably be a monster. Now you're like, I have to kill someone. Hold on. Hold on. That's not what we agreed to. One life is too high a price. I mean I, I, I'm not, my character is not sold on this Char business. Never, it never was. I can respect your religion from a distance, but if it involves me getting my hands dirty for a deity that I have no loyalties to, I don't know about that. You're, you're kind of on your own. One life is too high a price. Please, how many breathed their last just so we could make it this far? Trust me, this will help us. They usually jump us first, though. Except for that guy I pushed off the boat, but he was a slaver. <sighs> Am I making a choice choice right now? Like, if I say no, is she gonna be like, fine, I'm gonna leave. Let me quick save. Cause I'd like, I don't... I don't know, we, we can't do this, man. Like, I don't even know who it is, but like, maybe like sit on it for a second, you know? Like, think? You will not stand in my way. Draw your weapon. Shadowheart. Let's, let's just talk about it later. <laughs> I don't, oh, calm down, calm down. Let's talk about it later. Just. Remember what I said. Oh my god. Let me do what I need to. Oh god, why are we here right now? So, can we go in here? Is this the play? Your party is gathered. You are ready. Or so you hope. Ooh, are you sure you want to proceed? Depending on your choices, the state of the region could change and some active... 
state of the region could change and some active quests may become unavailable. Hold on, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what choice, what have I done? Path to Inner Sanctum is open. The relic lies just ahead. Ooh, is there anything that I need to clear topside before going any further? Find the night song. Rescue Wolbran. Okay, we, we save the prisoners. Find Arabella's parents. We still haven't done that. Oh my god, first time playthroughs. This, this is what this is what gets me. First time playthroughs. I never know like what step I go forward in is like gonna seal off everything else. Okay, I haven't found Zevlor yet. Um I'm pretty sure I can't. I haven't found Mole yet. Oh uh, man, oh man, oh man. Okay. Ooh, search for Grand Duke Ravenguard. Man. I don't know where he is. He, she believes he's being held in Moonrise Towers. He's not there. Should I, like, go back and, like, let her know that he's not, he's not there? I don't know. This is one of those moments where it's like, I want to clear as much as I can before digging any deeper. So maybe I should just go back and like see if there's something I can do about that real quick. Few moments later. His Majesty, where is that cat? I can't wait for things to just be uh, quiet. Did I ever talk to these guys, Wolbrin? Hmm? Oh, uh, I I don't need anything else. Thanks. Oh. Um. Oh, your friend Barkus is just around the corner. Have I seen Barkus? Where is Barkus? Have you said hello? Where is Barkus here? Hold on. The the dude right say from the windmill. Oh, Barkus. Uh, perhaps later. Was there something else? Where is Barkus? Hold on. Uh how do you know and how do you and Barkus know each other? I've not seen Barkus. Has he been here the whole time? Oh, we hail from the same village in the Underdark. We're hung about in the same parcel of children. Barkus tends to make more of it than it is. Yeah, he was like, he's like, this is my best friend. I need to go out and save him. Dude, come on. Put, put some respect on your friend, Barkus. Um, what will you do when you get out of here? I have plans in Baldur's Gate. The work of many years labor that will finally bear fruit. You should look for me once we're in the city. The name Wolverin Bongle will be mentioned among many. I've little doubt. Man, Bongle is a crazy last name. Uh, care to elaborate on these plans? That's Iron Hand Gnome business. Dang. You recall stories of the Iron Hand Gnomes, a talented group of inventors who were banished from Baldur's Gate. Oh. Weren't the Iron Hand exiled from Baldur's Gate? Do not speak of a story you only know the half of. Calm down. We are inventors of the highest order, matched, perhaps, but never surpassed by the Gondians at the High House of Wonders. But our forebears were foolish, complicit with Saravok's madness over a century past. And so, we were banished. We're still are to this day. Hmm. Saravok the ball spawn. The very one. It's the only mistake the Iron Hand Gnomes ever made. And it cost us everything. I have fought tooth and nail to restore our reputation. Particularly against the Gondian detractors who live in glass houses. Our return to Baldur's Gate will usher in a new era for the Iron Hand Gnomes. The realm deserves the benefit of our genius. Oh, all right. Man, I really want to demand payment. Uh, I'll take a thank you. Surely Barkus will take care of that. Where is Barkus? I have not seen Barkus this whole time. I think Quiet. I've not seen him for a second. Where is he? Are you sure he's here? Because I haven't seen him since the, the windmill incident. Fine. We'll 
rest here for a while. Huh. And then we leave for home. Where is he? Hold on, I want to find Barkus. How are these kids doing? They took them all. I couldn't stop them. Okay. Uh, Roland, how are you? They took your chair. I've thanked you once already. Don't be greedy. I need him. Larian, I need him. Give him to me. Uh, where is this dude, Barkus? Is that... There's Barkus, dude! When did you ever get here? Wait, where am I? Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Where'd he go? Barkus, come here. Hold on. Dude, I've not seen you in a minute. Too much. The absolute close of that thing. Ah, there you are. Hey! Everyone man. seems to be quite a flutter. Do you know why? Um... Are you joking? Barkus? Robin is right in the other room. He... what? Uh, you're... <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, uh, he was not that excited Aubrey. to see you, dude. Controls report more Where activity is he? among the cultists. Oh, he was not. To march, I wager. His friend was Seems not as way. hyped to see him. Seems someone's oh. Marcus. Is anyone keeping an eye on those? Get better friends. Maybe not, Mom. Wolverin. Oh. Ah, uh, I heard you might be about. <laughs> uh, how the devil did you get stuck here, Barkus? <laughs> I'm not stuck. <laughs> I came to find you, of course. Why would you do a foolish thing like that? Really, Barkus? Dude! Uh, unfortunately for me, you're my friend. Rescuing you from mortal peril is my right. Oh, but you didn't rescue me, did you? I rescued myself with the aid of this helper. Ah, it's you. I should have guessed. Thank you very much for your help finding Wolverine. Uh huh. You don't belong here, Barkus. As soon as the way is clear, pack up and head to Baldur's Gate. Dang! But, Wolverine. The rune powder. We need to discuss what you're going to. I said go home! Don't yell at my dude, Barkus, right? Oh my god. You don't know what Barkus has gone through to find you. I, I don't know either, because apparently he just spawned in here, but I'll take it. Please, that that isn't necessary. Indeed. Neither of you has any clue what's at stake. A and why should you? It's Iron Hand Gnome business. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a great deal to do. Well, there we have it. Ah! Uh Wolbrin is safe and sound. Thanks to you. I owe you a great deal. The brilliant retort, for starters. Uh, here you are. I hope you like it. It's uh, a new type of smoke powder. Powerful stuff. Dude. Uh... Now, I believe our business is well and truly concluded. You don't owe me anything, Barkus, if anything Wolverine does. One and the same. No, it's not. You really care about him, don't you? Uh, well, once you're used to someone, you're used to them. You're in love with him! What will you do now? Well, perhaps Wolbrin is right. Perhaps I ought to return to, to Baldur's Gate. Dude, this is killing me. He went, oh my god. Uh, no, no. Oh, you should join my camp. Hmm. Uh, perhaps I will. Yes! Yes. Yes. That's a nice idea. Dude, Thank let you. me give him a hug. Let me give him a hug right now. Let me give him a hug. When I get a bomb, I'll take it. Dude, look at him just skulking away. That's not yes. right. Oh, I can I'm trade sure with him. You would. Why do you say it like that? I have a boyfriend. Take more dye. Black and white. Take that. Hmm. 
Ooh, you, he's got some good stuff. Acrobat shoes. Persuasion and deception. Hmm. I probably don't need that. Strength saving. What do I have here? I'll keep that. Arrow of dragon slaying. I mean, when am I ever going to slay a dragon? You never know. You never know. Uh, ooh, I got some good stuff to sell. Take that. Hmm. I guess, dude, look at Barkus. They don't deserve you, Barkus. <laughs> they don't. If you're done rifling through my things. Dude, let me. I got some words for Waldron. That's crazy. You're good to have humored Barkus for so long. Ah! The poor fellow is like creeping moss, if you know what I mean. He wanted to help you. Uh, he's got more courage than you give him credit for. <laughs> I'm sure. But that's his business. Now, is there something you want? I'm a busy man. Let me let me flick him or something. Too much. I don't even want to trade with you. You don't deserve my money. Alright, uh Quiet. let me talk to Isabel real quick too, now that we're here. Oh god, I'm glad I came back. I probably would have missed all of that. Isabel, what's up with you? We saw your tomb. What level am I? I'm level eight. I'm chilling. You did well to help those people escape Ketherick. Every soul saved is a blessing, and you're raining them upon us. You're welcome. Um, oh, Isabel, I found an empty sarcophagus of an Isabel Thorne, Ketherick's daughter. Her breath catches. You notice a barely perceptible shudder run through her body. Why am I an smiling? Unfortunate coincidence. I Girl. hope never to meet the wicked man who hemorrhaged shadows over this peaceful village. Girl, be for real. Be for real. Um, I saw Catherick at Moonrise Tower as he was presiding over a trial. Almost laughable that he sees himself fit to judge anyone. Did you learn anything about how we might defeat him? Um, I think I'm on the right track. Well, that's fantastic. Well done. I'm glad you've made progress. Protecting this in, well, it takes it out of you. I'll hold out as long as I can. By the sound of things, we'll have a more permanent solution soon. So glad you're on our side. Hmm, I still have a few questions. Go on, then. Why are you his daughter? <laughs> Why are you lying? Um... How did you come to this place? Right place, right time. When a cleric of Saluna stumbles into a Sharon shadow, she's bound to set it to rights. At any cost. Um, I don't know much about you. Care to fill in the blanks? I could say the same. But perhaps we should save the trivia till we're on the other side of this thing. Promise not to die, and we'll celebrate with our life stories. I know what you are. Um, I I know the saloon and shard thing. This curse is incredibly powerful. What can you tell me about it? It belongs to the goddess Shah. According to the Harpers, it fell here when they defeated Ketherick. The one who tried to have me kidnapped. I suppose they didn't defeat him quite hard enough. Hmm. Well, I'll just pick this. Why not? Moon and shadow. Light and dark. Divine sisters ever at war. And this place has become one more battlefield. Sometimes life forces us to choose sides. Luckily, sometimes the choice is obvious. Hmm. Not for Shadowheart. Um, okay. A drider doing the cult's work. Well, the absolute Ooh, talking about the drider. I miss him. He was cool looking. Was one lost soldier among 
So I came here to talk to what's her name? The the flaming fist lady. But I guess she isn't here. Uh Counselor Floric. So those searching for the Grand Duke or Flaming Fitch, uh, Fist Detachment is returning to Baldur's Gate for reinforcements. Okay. Huh. Okay, so what, what, what? I don't know why Will's quest is stuck. Like, we don't know that his dad's not in Moonrise Towers, but all right. We'll, we'll go with it, I guess. Uh, let's see. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I am just going to go ahead and do the Char trials, or I guess I already did them. Do whatever else Char is asking of me at the moment, because thinking about it logically, if the Arabella's parents' quest was timed, they're likely already dead because I've long rested so many times since then that it's like, what can you do? But if they're still alive somehow, or if they're just somewhere out there dead in the Shadowlands, I don't see how doing this is going to lock me out of that. Like some other quests, sure, but Arabella's more of like a side quest, so I'm hoping that it's not like that vital that like I do something now that's gonna be like, oh, you can never find them again. But with that in mind, I just wanna kinda go ahead and get on with the story because I am immersed in what's happening right now and I really wanna see what happens next. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Let's go all the way over here. I mean, we did, we did see Bark, like, I'm pretty sure I saw there was, like, a, a hotfix that updated for Baldur's Gate to where it's like, oh, uh, Barkus actually shows up in missions now when he wouldn't before. So I was like, huh. Because I only remember seeing him at the windmill, but apparently he's also, he's also, you're supposed to see him at the Grim Forge. Maybe he was there and I just didn't recognize him. Um, but I didn't talk to him then. But I'm, I did free the gnomes, so I guess he lived through that, and somehow he made it to the Shadowlands. But apparently, you know what, I'll take it. I'll On take the it. Altar is brave, the altar the gaunt. The Dark Lady's finest warriors arose uh -huh. from this place. Now I'm here. Shadowheart, why are you, why are you acting surprised? What? Here. Let's... Oh, I have to go through here. I see. Um, can I? Oh, okay, I have to go all the way. I see. But I was like really confused by that when I saw the, the patch, because I was like, you would have Barkus? Barkus is like a reoccurring character? I thought he was just like the a windmill gag. But apparently he's like a whole thing. So I'm glad that got updated. I'm not sure I deserved it though, because I didn't talk to him in the Grim Forge. But I'll take it, hey. I actually like him. He he deserves better friends. I don't know what that nonsense is about. Man, I really hope he shows up at camp. That'd be fun. I like him. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Your party is gathered. You are ready. Or so you hope. I want to do it. I want to do it. Let's just do it. We've come this far. Let me quick save. Sorry. As you step into the silent water, a foreign dread travels through you. It curls its way up your leg, squeezing tight. Oh, heck no, dude. Uh-uh. I 
I got my team. Oh, man. Oh, man, what is this? It's like the, the astral plane. <laughs> Lady Shah. I can feel her all around. This is her domain. This is the Shadowfell. This you place well. blows. Better than I would have credited you with. Now, hurry along and bear witness to my masterpiece. <laughs> like I'm just floating. This is the Dark Lady's domain. He does not belong here. Ah, oh, Shadowheart. You want me to fight this man right now? Um... How did you even get here? Simple. I followed you. It seems Shah still holds a grudge against General Thorne, and so sought to prevent me from entering in his name. Luckily, you were the perfect agent in helping me slip past her defenses. Now the Night Song is within reach. Um... Is this relic truly worth it? There is not a shadow of a doubt. But don't take my word for it. Come, see for yourself. Look at him go. I should have took him out when I had the chance. I feel lighter, unburdened. As if the softest push could send me drifting away. I don't like that. Okay, so this is... Can we, like, jump around? Yep. Don't fight me. Please don't fight me. Please don't fight me. We're all friends here. Just a little bit farther. See my actions, Lady Shaw. Hear my words of faith. Calm down. Shadow Heart, I really witness my adoration. Like, I get she's like geeking out right now, but like I don't know if I want to help her out. She she's turning a little evil on me. Are we gonna jump all the way down here? How do we get back up? Guys, please follow. Please don't fight me. I have emptied my heart Dude, I'm I'm so nervous. Oh, this is cool though. This is so cool. Like, I'm hyped for you, Shadowheart, but I'm nervous for me, you know? Lady Shaw's will shall be done, as sure as night will fall. Uh, okay, we're going... Which way? All the way over here. Who's this? Balthazar. Come to add more bars oh, to Oh, that's cage. her! Or perhaps to lead this would be Justicia's blade directly to my heart. Night song. I invite you. Heap more sins upon your head. My retribution will be all the sweeter for them. All this time, and you still fail to appreciate the gifts I bestowed on you, Aileen. Sad. To see a thing of beauty not recognize its own worth. But General Thorne, he appreciates you, and he wants you close at hand. So, I am here to whisk you back to him. Catherick. 
I welcome the sight of him after these hundred years. He whose immortality I supply with my very soul. General Thorn. Ooh. I'm sure you'll be on your best behavior for him, but just in case, I've taken some precautions. Keep back. It will take quite some concentration to secure Aelin for her little journey. Night Song is a person? Person? Please. You insult her. You insult me. Aelin is so much more than that. She is an Asimar, bound to a soul oh. cage of my creation, and lending her immortal strength to general form. Her power, his will, and <laughs> my genius. An unsurpassable feat. Ramblings most unsane. Poor Balthazar. For maggots ate his brain long ago. Hold your tongue, Aelin. Or I'll take it away from you again. And you. No more questions. No more interference. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I, I think this is where I draw the line with Balthazar. I, I'm not, I, I can't let it go any further keeping him alive. If she's the reason Cethric Thorm is invulnerable, you're not taking her. Leave or you're a dead man. Dead man? You haven't been paying attention, have you? Perhaps I'll revive your carcass and add you to my retinue. Then you'll have all the time in the world to think on your mistakes. You got a health bar? I can definitely take you out. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> take her. Balthazar, she's yours. <laughs> you can have her. <laughs> oh, man. What are y'all doing over here? You didn't follow me? What on earth? I just got to take you out, don't I? A five is crazy. Uh, I want you to misty step over to me, please. I need friends. Oh, you could push me off though, I bet. Oh, oh no. I may have made a mistake. Uh, could I push him? Oh no, he'll, he'll go somewhere else. I really don't want this dude around. He looks huge. So I'm just gonna do what needs to be done. Ooh, okay. Jump. Guiding bolt. Him. Whoa, okay. All right, oh, let's calm down, guys. Let's calm down. Ooh, do I just... Do I help my boy out? All right, that works. Gail. Come join us. Oh, dude, please, please. <gasps> you did not. You did not just do that. I'm done, done. Oh no, my soul's right there. I can resurrect myself. Sick. Please, 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 please. Please stop. Please stop. Oh, I'm getting smacked up. Please, 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 please. Please. Oh my god. 
Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Help me. Take you. I'm fading fast. I must heal. Ooh, and I can't jump without you guys getting me at all. At all. <laughs> at all. I don't even know what I'm doing. Go invisible. I don't know. Go invisible. Ooh, what do I want to do? Can I can I make my own army? Can I animate my own dead? Oh, man. Oh man. Oh man. Let's all just heal up. That didn't heal me? Oh my god. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I'm messing up left and right. Let me just uh, silence over here, please. Gail, I'm gonna need you to. Oh, I just put him in. I just put him. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to do absolutely nothing, apparently. Because I just put you exactly where you shouldn't be. Just uh, hit that guy. I guess. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're messing me up. Stop! I'm already down! I'm already down! Stop! Stop! Get off me! Dude, at least let me have a chance. You can't just push me off the ledge. That's crazy. I might have to restart just for that. Like, how horrible. Y'all can have Aelin, I don't care. <laughs> Aelin, you wanna help? Dude, this sucks. Dude, this sucks. Ooh, just let me push you off. Just let me push you off. T, he's too fat. He's too fat to shove. That's hilarious. Get off me, get off me. Oh, this is so bad. All right, can I break silence? Because I messed up. I messed up, I realize that now. Got to press on. Am I, I'm out of the, I'm out of the barrier. I'm out of the barrier, I should be able to what? Why? Why? Why is this happening? I'm not even in the barrier! Let me use my spells! Dude, this is such a bad start. It's ridiculous. No way. I'm out of the barrier. Why can't I use, look, look. I'm not even touching it. Gail, Gail, come on, man. We're out of the barrier. Why are you not using your spells? I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. This has to be the worst start to any battle. 
I'm gonna have to replay this. Ooh, okay. I'm pissed a little bit. What's even worth doing right now? I'm just, I'm gonna be out of here. Can I help her? Okay, okay. What can we do? I just, I have to lock in. Someone's gonna try to push me. I already, I already know, I already I see it. They burn. I already see it. Gail, if you don't jump right now. Are we getting somewhere? Please don't push me. Please don't push me. Please don't push me. If we can all just tank this right now. Please don't push me. No! That was my best guy. <laughs> that was my best guy, dude. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up. I can't, I can't stand this. Whose turn is it? Oh, mine? Okay. Where's Balthazar? Come here. How are you guys still alive? He's dead! Oh, Lord. Revive me, please. That's not enough health. I can't tank anything. Heading there. <laughs> yeah, I, I had to risk that, otherwise he's just gonna push me. Why? Leave my character alone! Please don't, please don't, please stop. Don't push me, don't push me. Oh 
Gale. Oh, Gale. That's good. That's good. I can work with that. I got some health items, don't I? Let's bring Gale back. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Got to move. Heal us again. Get up. I need your I need your fireballs. Survival is all that matters. Lighting is bad right now. Hold on. Okay. We're getting better. We're getting better. This might turn in our favor. Indeed. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Take that, why not? This is one all the way over there. On my way. Really hoping I could reach you. Death is but a word away. Is it? I don't like that. Yeah, just wait till I get over there. Just wait. You made it. No way you dodged that. I am in disbelief. Well, some rests better than none. I'm in such disbelief that worked. Soul cage research. Let me look at that. Nothing of value. Summon Golem Bell. I'll take that. Balthazar has drawn his final rancid breath. <laughs> A pity it was not my hand that brought it about. Instead, it was you. You. You have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You, who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger. 
A spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Oh, girl. Her fate is mine to seal. Let me handle this. The fate you seal is your own. To be a dark justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love. No joy, only servitude. Until, of course, your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadowheart bristling. This is important to her. But your bond is strong. You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. I would like and to do Night that. Song is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. Do I trust Shadowheart? Whoa. I'm kind of curious to see what she does on her own. Is that is that asking too much of her? Cuz I feel like if I trust her It's like I get the whole believe in your friends thing, but uh, there's nothing that's really shown me otherwise that she's not just going to do Shar's will. Ooh, I don't know. Do I I, I kind of I'm really interested in seeing what she decides for herself. Oh, I'm so curious. Let me let me at least quick save. Cuz I don't want Night Song to die. It doesn't feel right to let that happen. She doesn't seem evil. But I'm so curious to see where Shadowheart's head is at. That I have to at least see what happens. Well, well, well. What's that I sense? A spear intended for my heart? Empowered by your goddess, I. Empowered to kill the child of a god. Do you know what I am, little assassin? For I know you. A lost child. Ooh. Frightened by wolves in the dark. What did you say? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? I sense more in you than you know. Whatever you think you know of me won't matter once I become who I'm meant to be. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. It keeps going. She does know something about her. Let's just say that. Spare her and see what she has to say, at least. Come on, come on. Dude! Dude! She did it! I... I can't believe I just did that. Lady Shah will disown me. What will happen to me? Not what will happen. You got us. What will you do? Your past is not yet lost. Your future is not yet fixed. Lay a hand on me in friendship, not quite Sharon. And I will fight the battle that has been waiting for me this last century. Then, oh then, we will have much to discuss. Dude, I'm so proud of her. I didn't have to persuade her or anything. 
Wow. I'm so glad I did that. Our Lady of Silver, hear me. She who guides the Moon Maiden Saluna, mother of the so called Night Song. The Night Song is no more. Great gift, little warrior. Don't you find it oh so curious that you would spurn your dark lady? Perhaps you feel a staring of the truth already. But that will come later. There is a battle yet to be fought. You have done what we feared was impossible. You have released me from a century of sorrow. Your power is great. So too must be your weapon. You must choose what you will wield. And the Moon Maiden will provide. Thus I have said. Thus will it be so. Are you ready? Hmm. Ready for what? To kill Ketherick Thorne. Absolutely! Absolutely. We need to leave. Lady Shah won't stand for us to be here, not after what we did. Ooh. Shadowheart, I'm so proud of you right now. Let, let, I, let me pull her into a hug real quick. I'm so proud of you. I always knew you were a good person. Um, if she's angry, she's being pretty quiet about it. I don't know. There's a blizzard happening. Let's just get out. I'm not sure there's a place that's far enough away for me to go. Lady Shah must be angry. There's only silence. Forget her. Forget Let's her. Let's get out of here, please. Whatever's coming, I don't want to be in the heart of the Shadowfell when it finds me. The Night Song will be headed for Moonrise Towers. We'd better get there and see what she's unleashed against Ketherick Thorne. Oh, man. Shadowheart had her moment, dude. I'm so glad I decided to trust her. Ooh, it's popping off. Got it. We're doing it. Dude. A powerful ally. Well chosen, Shadowheart. Well chosen, break, Shadowheart. Exposed. We only have to strike. All right, let me see. We freed Night Song. We've been blessed by Saloon for saving her daughter. That's crazy. A gift from Dame Aelin and her radiant goddess. This weapon's contour holds a silver white beauty akin to the nightly lantern that climbs the firmament each evening. Okay. I should give that to Shadowheart immediately. She deserves that. Ooh, look at it! It's so pretty, too. Let's dip. Let's dip. Immediately dip. Immediately I'm out of here. I don't want to see any more Char. Ooh. 
forgive me. Oh, she is. Oh, there you are. I was very close to worrying about you, Shadowheart. I. I thought I was done for. I thought perhaps I might have been dead. This. This is all like some sort of terrible dream. But it's real, isn't it? I stood before the night song. I heard Lady Shah's words. And I failed her. Yeah. Worse than failed her. I defied her. Just because of what that Asimar said. I tried to leave. But Shah blocked me. Punished me for failing her. I thought I knew the limit of pain that the incurable wound could inflict, but... I had no idea. It felt like I was suffering the agony of a thousand people all at once. My blood was boiling, my hair was on fire. I thought I'd claw my own face off with the pain. But then she released me. Banished me, more like. She said I was an outcast. That all of her children would know me and revile me. Shadowheart looks distraught, abandoned by her goddess and all former allies. And as for her divine magic, admitting who empowers her now may break her spirit for good. Oh man, she's going through exactly what Lazel went through a while ago. Like. Everything she knew just got turned upside down. Huh. If that's any consolation, I think you did the right thing. You're lucky to have such confidence. Me. I think the full price of what I've done has yet to reveal itself. I'm a target to Lady Shah's followers now. Night Song promised she'd tell me something about myself. I need to speak with her as soon as I can. Might as well. What she said to me back in the Shadowfell about the wolves. That's no coincidence. She took flight to hunt down Kethric Thorm. All I can do is help hasten his demise. And hope that answers soon follow. Huh, how are you feeling? Do you really need to ask? No, I guess not. Sorry. <laughs> I'm... Sorry. I have a lot on my mind. The shadow fell. Night song. I can think of little else. Huh. Should I say you're not yourself? Like clearly she's not, and it's obvious we it's obvious why she's not. Her whole life is just she had one thing she needed to do, and she she defied that. She she lost everything. She doesn't even have her memories back. She she like she feels completely alone in the world right now. I don't have to. Of course, she's not herself. Nothing makes sense right now. Uh, Night Song has some explaining to do. That's all I gotta say. Yes, I'm counting on it. I have little else to turn to. The sooner I speak to Night Song, the sooner I'll know what the future holds for me. Assuming I have a future at all. Hmm. There's some matters I wanted to discuss, are there? I'm sorry. It might be best kept until later. I'd be a poor counsel and worse company just now. Gotcha. Yeah, take your time, for sure. Does anyone have anything to say? Poor Shadowheart. The gods are nothing if not vindictive in their vengeance. Hmm. Starion? I suppose it was only a matter of time until Shah took vengeance. For the Lady of Loss, she does not like losing. <laughs> True. Loss, but... Other people's loss, of course. Man. Poor Shadowheart. But I am so proud of her that she made that choice for herself. I almost didn't trust her with it. But I'm so glad that I did because I feel like 
that paid off so much more. But I feel like she made her choice. Now I feel we owe it to her to help her get some answers because that was not easy for her. So we're going to do that in the next episode where who knows what's going to happen. We have to help out Miss Night Song. What, what's her name? Aelin? Do what she needs to do. We have to get answers for Shadowheart. So hopefully we get all that done in the next episode. That said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.